in a way this film deals with bullying. You know, mm -hmm. How do you as a master of horror feel about this very real horror? Well, I, you know, I think bullying, it takes place everywhere. It takes place in, the, in, the, in homes with you know, abused children and abused wives. It takes place in the workplace uh, and certainly in the schoolyard. And there's been some, obviously recently some horrible examples mm -hmm. of what the results can be. Um, so there is a character in this film that is a bully. Uh, you do get to see another side of her at the end, and you get to see some of the things that made her that, mm -hmm. uh, which is an interesting thing to think about. You know, if somebody is a bully, what exactly is going on in their own minds, and what kind of pain is that masking? So that it's it's a fascinating type of character, and I'm, I'm glad we have. Uh, you know the character of Fang in the movie who who is that? I mean, I kind um, of like that it doesn't use too modern of an element. You know, there's not it's not all about like the Facebook harassment and stuff, mm -hmm, and it's kind yeah. of just the essential like old school. yeah, old school bullying, yeah. people mm -hmm. being mean to each other and punching each other in the stomach, yeah. and you know, just teen angst gone wrong. So you've been making horror movies for a very long time. How do you think 3D changes the game? 3D gives a new set of tools to the filmmaker. Um, you can change the way things are perceived by the AI, not just making things rounded and kind of, you know, in space, but you can change the dimensions of that space in very interesting ways that I wasn't even aware of when I kind of went in and started talking to people and, and seeing demonstrations. Um, you can put a person in a room that, um, you know, has the dimensions of the film, that, the, the room that you filmed, and you can suddenly, or very gradually, take the back wall away from that character. Oh. In a way, the character gets smaller or larger. Uh, very subtle things that you can do that we did in this film. How is it working in 3D? How does that change the filmmaking experience? It didn't. <laughs> yeah, you kind of yeah. just. Yeah, it's it's that's all in the camera. That's all in the after. You know, that's all. But as far as actually doing it, you know, a, a horror movie is very like visual and it's very much yeah. about that. But actually making it, whether it's gonna be 3D or not, it does. You know, we didn't do yeah, like over of, the top. You make it the same. That's all. That's all stuff they do. With yeah, the, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> you discovered a lot of actors. What do you look for in an actor for your horror films? Well, you look for somebody who can depict the character that you write and has the flexibility to bring something of their own into it that is intelligent and fascinating and original um, and that can handle the technical aspects of making a film, which are, you know, a lot, mm -hmm. you know, you yeah. have to understand a lot of very technical things about, you know, where to find your light and hit your mark and all those things. So it's a combination of those things. and Or else kids that are able to be taught that very quickly, which all these kids, you know, if they didn't know it already, and learn very quickly. It's definitely a lot of work, um, just because it's, it's, it's exhausting. I mean, you spend more hours in, in makeup than I think I ever have. <laughs> and, and, uh, you shoot late nights, you know, so you're you're constantly tired, mm -hmm. um, nice. exhausted from running and the physical, you know, aspects to it. And um, but other than that, it's actually a lot of fun. My last question for you is: yes. a lot of aspiring filmmakers choose horror as their genre. Why do you think that is? It's a very lively genre. There's a lot of films being made that are horror and genre films. So even if you want to make other kinds of films, eventually, it's a place where you can um, where you can work and get jobs and express yourself. And it's easy, you know, in some ways to make a horror film. I mean, this was a pretty complex one, but mm -hmm. you can make one out in the woods someplace, uh, <laughs> you know, chase people through the woods <laughs> at night, uh, like, a, like a Blair Witch or something like that. So it, it's possible to do it quite cheaply. So it's, able, it's, it's just a, it's, a, it's an arena that uh, young filmmakers have access to, and it's possible for them to make films like this. <laughs>